Hello everybody and welcome back to a little bit of a different video. This will be our first single player install of EUP. Um, I know a lot of people want the 5M type EUP installs and that is coming as well. We already have a video on that so I kind of wanted to do a single player install of EUP and then we're going to go back and go and do custom uniforms and stuff for 5M. Um, so I'm kind of rotating between single player, 5M, Minecraft, all those good things. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Um, only like 14% of people who watch these videos are actually subscribed, so it'd be great if you could support the channel. Anyway, that's enough advertising. Let's just get straight into it. So I'm going to expect that you already have Rage Plugin Hook installed on your um, GTA copy and that you have a mods folder and that you have um, all of your other things set up that you need. So you need Rage Plugin Hook, you need mods folder, um, stuff like that, you need Open 4. You need all that set up before you do this. Um, I will have videos in the coming weeks on this. The reason I'm not doing over it in this video alone is mainly because I don't want to overwhelm everyone. I want to just do the EUP for single player stuff. Um, and to in order to install this, you should already know how to install Rage Plugin Hook. Um, and it's quite simple. You just download it and drop it in your GTA folder, so it's not that complicated. Um, but I will be doing a video on it in the coming weeks. Um, so anyway, let's just get straight into it. So. Uh, first thing you're going to actually need is the EUP menu. We're going to be in installing the EUP menu first, then we're going to be installing the Law and Order menu, uh, uniforms, and then we're going to install the Serve and re uh, serve Rescue uniforms as well, which is more Firefighter EMT stuff. Uh, so the first thing we're going to download is the EUP menu. You're just going to go ahead and click Download, uh, Agree and Download, whatever you uh, want to do here. And we're going to go ahead and download, I didn't mean to press Donate, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and download all of these at the same time, but I do advise donating to them if you have the chance because it makes some really cool stuff. Um, anyway, so you can see these are all downloading now. Uh, we're going to go and open up the EUP menu first because that's what we're going to be installing at first. There's documentation on the README and everything. I highly recommend going over here. So the requirements is Rage Plugin Hook, Rage Native UI, EUP Law and Order, um, optional but EUP Surf and Rescue. It tells you exactly what to do um, and how to install it, so I would recommend going over this. But anyway, we're going to go to the files and you can see it comes with the Rage Native UI and the plugins folder. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our GTA folder, our main GTA folder. Now, I already have this installed, so I'm just going to override what I already have. But when you drag these into the folder normally, it's just going to say, hey, you have to replace these two files or it's just going to go in without having to replace anything. Just click OK. You're good to go there. Then we're going to go and open up the Serve and Rescue and the Law and Order pack, which is here. And you are an OIV file. So what we're going to do a little bit differently is we're going to open Open 4 and we're going to go to our Windows for GTA 5. I'm going to drag these OIV files just to my desktop here so they're a little bit easier to see. Uh, the other file is about to be opening in a, sec or in a few seconds and we're just going to drag that to our desktop as well once it does open. Uh, so you can see this one actually has a plugins and EUP pre-outfit one. So what you actually have to do is you actually go, go into your GTA folder again and drag this in for the plugins so it can go ahead and replace or uh, just open enter in if you don't have it installed already the default uniforms and then you're just going to drag the other oiv file to the desktop here uh, inside of open 4 what you're going to do is you're going to go into edit mode press yes go to tools and go to asi manager make sure all of these are installed because you're going to need these to work and make sure you have a mods folder if you don't have a mods folder open 4 will go ahead and say hey wait 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 you need a mods folder to do this so just make sure you have that set up. Anyway, we're going to go to package installer and we're going to first find the law and order. So you're going to find EUP law and order 8.1 and you're going to go in and click install. Make sure you click into the mods folder and confirm the install because obviously you don't want it to be overridden. Uh, quick fact for everyone watching, if you install anything into the normal GTA folder, uh, GTA will detect that and override and replace the file with the default one. So always install into the mods folder uh, because it does stuff like that. And then we're going to do the exact same thing again for the sir s and r1 um and then you're just going to click install to the mods folder confirm the installation do it once again um so once we have this set up i apologize for the distraction dog in the background once we have this set up we can actually hop in game and test it um and by pressing f11 when we're in game we can edit, edit mode and just delete those oiv files so i'm gonna go ahead and launch gta um quick fact if you're running um natural vision uh evolved or one of your graphics packs you actually have to launch the GTA first, then launch Rage Plugin Hook to load all those plugins afterwards. Um, thank you to the users who, uh, or the user in the GPM Discord who pointed that out to me. Very appreciated. We are in here, so what we're going to do is we're going to run outside so it's a little bit easier to see. We're going to go to press F4, which opens up this e, uh, Rage Plugin Hook menu. What we're going to do is load plugin, 
uh, you can press tab to autofill and EUP menu just click enter it's gonna take a second and load up um, it will send any errors if there's an error but it was like hey new console commands added plug in EUP loaded from EUP menu uh, just to make it a little bit easier to see I'm gonna go ahead and set the time today this is just simple trainer uh, we've went over installs for this before for 5m it's literally the same way to install it for uh, single player but I'll do that in the future go and click F11 here and you can see we have opened up the EUP menu by default it will just load whatever default character or ask you to create a character either way is fine um, but if you're running LSPDFR you'll have a default character already uh, then I just click uh, the law and order and I can go ahead and set any uniform for any of these departments kind of like how the 5m one works you got a lot of this cool stuff uh, this does not cost money it's completely free so uh, if you're enjoying this I do recommend donating uh, to the members of who made it uh, but it's really really cool so make sure you check it out uh, use it to spice up your um, type of driving or whatever else you're doing in single player you can have quite fun with that um, anyway hopefully this did help you understand how to set this all up um, I'll be going over the October update of natural vision evolved in the coming weeks most likely I'm gonna be a little bit delayed on it just because it does take a little bit of time for me to make those types of videos but lots of cool stuff coming soon I can't wait to share it with you almost got hit by a car um, LSPDFR video, which is actually a gameplay and an install video coming very soon. I can't wait to share it with you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. My name is Noodles. If you have any questions or anything, please leave them down in the comments. And I will see you in tomorrow's video, or two days from now's video, because we don't do daily uploads anymore. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow.